All right, so it's time to fix that error message that you're receiving about a firewall blocking Seesaw. The first step that we need to do is to reset a few settings within Chrome. So I'm gonna come up to the three dots. I'm gonna scroll down to settings. Then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, click advanced, scroll down to the bottom again, and underneath reset and cleanup, I'm gonna choose the first option that says restore settings to the original defaults. Then I'm gonna click reset settings. After the settings have been reset, scroll up to the top and double check that your Chrome has not signed you out. If it has, go ahead and click sign in again. And navigate through the steps to sign yourself into Chrome. I know that Chrome has signed me back in because I can see my picture here at the top and it doesn't have the word pause below it. All right, the next step is to go ahead and sign into Seesaw once again. You can go ahead and go straight to app.seesaw.me or you can go through the NEISD Launchpad. The next thing that we're going to try is to um, check the permissions that you're giving Seesaw. To do that, we need to come up to the three dots, scroll down to settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to come down to the third section, click on site settings, click on view permission and data across sites, and then you're going to choose Seesaw. If you have more than two Seesaw um, links that show up, make sure you're choosing the one that says app.seesaw.me. When you're in here, make sure that these settings are um, enabled. Your camera, your microphone, JavaScript, and pop-ups and redirects. After attempting those two options, if Seesaw is still showing that it's blocked, go ahead and submit a help desk ticket. You can find a help desk ticket by logging into Launchpad and clicking on the employee web links folder.